Now, <laughs> to make matters worse, there was a development after the event on Thursday. You mm. received a letter stating a demand to cease and desist from the LNP, and it was signed by Riley himself. Now, what had you done that upset the LNP so much? Why is all this, why has it reached this point? Well, I, I honestly couldn't tell you, Fred. Um, I think that often they see that, you know, there's success um, in terms of getting people to an event from someone who was formally suspended. And ideally what they'd like you to do um, is when you have these kind of events that arise in any political party, any kind of scandal that arises, they want you to apologise and go to ground. Um, but when I saw what happened to me, and obviously we detailed that before with the schoolies video, um, I looked at the situation and said, hang on, this is incredibly overblown. Um, I'm not going to be deterred and completely forget that politics even exists in my life as it affects indeed every single one of us. Um, I continued to be involved. And I think for that crime, um, they've realised that, oh, this guy's too much of a political risk. And, and you know, I thought that, you know, the idea of a cease and desist letter is actually um, – you know, against a 23-year-old who, by the way, due to Hex, is actually in major debt, um, is uh, quite over the top. And, um, you know, it's something that I think, uh, you know, I know you reached out to Ben Riley, but really only he can explain. It's something that's quite hard to respond to. Um, all I want to do is be someone who's out there supporting the LNP and supporting good, strong, conservative values. And I look at those values that Robert Menzies talked about, which were trashed by Matthew Bark, and, you know, that speaks to me. And that's something that I think would, would you know, is very applicable in 2023 Australia. Well, the letter accuses you of, of masquerading as a, as a member of the LNP, which you are clearly not because you were, your membership was suspended after that incident in yes. 2019. Now, is that correct? Have you masqueraded as a member of the LNP in any way? Not at all. And and I've I've said, um, you know, I think the allegation was that I said that I'm involved um, with the Liberal and National Parties. And I think you'll find that a number of people are involved. Indeed, if we only allowed people who are members of the Liberal and National Parties to be campaigners handing out on voting booths or calling their friends and chatting to them about why they should become involved, and I think would become um, a very, very narrow-minded party. Um, to introduce all these stipulations and, and hurdles for people to jump over um, in order to truly grow our movement. And, you know, I'm not trying to, um, I guess, cr criticise them on this front, but as a 23-year-old, I'm someone who, you know, is going to be hopefully on this planet for another 60, 70 years and, and someone who's going to be voting, um, as I intend to, for the Liberal and National Parties for the next 60 and 70 years. And if we don't start appealing to this demographic um, here at the University of Queensland or indeed, you know, um, even even at um, other institutions where, where young people tend to um, congregate, then we're really going to be um, condemned to irrelevancy. I mean, we're a party with an average age over 70. And if we don't start reaching out to these demographics and start bringing them into the tent, um, then I think that the, the future is quite bleak. Well, Barclay, I don't think if you were if you were allowed to remain inside the LNP tent, I don't think it would be as a voter for the next 50 years. You would make an excellent Liberal MP, given how passionate, intelligent and articulate you are about conservative values. And I think it's an absolute shame that the state party is trying to e even exclude you from events. You can't even turn up to events. Yeah. It's crazy. Barclay, thank you so much for your time yes. and good luck uh, with whatever party you align yourself with next. They're <laughs> luckier than the LNP. Many thanks. Thank you so much, Fred, and I appreciate all the listeners for tuning in. That's former member of the Queensland LNP, Barclay McGain.